Right, I'm on hole number 11. I'm in the Monster Marsh Tournament. I'm in the turn. What is that? Hole number 11. Hole number 2. Hole number 2 is hole number 7. It's the duck hole. It's the duck hole. <laughs> it does look like a duck. Hole number 7. The duck hole. I'm taking a grid iron. Taking an extra mile. Grid iron. Can't remember where I'm wrong. No, I think I made this on the other one. I had a chip in from in front. I, think I did have a chip in. I think I put too much curl on it. I think that's what the deal was. I'll go back and watch these so I can really write some notes down and write some numbers because I really haven't run any numbers down here. I don't know how much top spin or any of that stuff. So I'm coming out here and I'm kind of winging it. So what I'll do is I'll watch, I'll go through and I'll just watch the shot setup and I'll, and I can see like what worked and what didn't work. Push me forward about two four, so it's going to push me forward right into that. So all I need to do is hit a perfect. And then one ring great to the left. So I'm trying to do it to see if I don't have to put any curl on it. If that little bit of side spin will throw me through the gap. It threw me into the water hazard. So you have to put some curl on it in order to get it up there. So I just put the the whole thing at risk. The good news is, is that it's in the opening round. <laughs> Bad news is, is I still haven't figured out what I want to do on that shot. So I'm like, I can go look at the other video. I think I put on max curl and I can see where I hit on it. And then I can look at this one. I didn't put on any curl at all. And I ended up in the drink. So you definitely don't want that to happen. So you definitely have to put some curl on it. And anytime you got to put a little bit of curl on it in a situation like that, max curl sounds like a really good number. So then it's all about how much distance you have to have so that you can make it around that corner without clipping the rough right here in front. But I'm committed to it now. I have to take it again so I can practice it right now. My distance was pretty good. If I would have been going towards the pin, so it's going to push me forward to it. It's going to push me forward a little bit more. I'm going to put some curl. There's max. Put a little less than max. I'm going to hit one ring great to the left. That's the same place I hit it last time. So that's the shot right there. Hey, it's no big deal if you're going for a shot like that and you don't make it, especially if you end up in the drink. You got to be almost happy that you ended up in the drink. Guess what? You got another round to practice that. So if you're actually like watching your notes and stuff, because what you're playing for is the weekend round. You're not playing for the opening round, so you're still practicing. <laughs> Don't be upset with yourself. I mean, you don't want to come in and like, hey, you hit these shots and then be down on it. The whole deal is, is your, what did you learn on that? So I don't mind being in the water. I was able to come back and do the same shot and, and learn from my mistake and set it up different and achieve the goal. And I still have a chance I could have, I saved my birdie. And my opponent got an eagle, so they saved me a birdie. That's the fun of playing with really good competition. Because if you're playing with really good competition and you drop a shot like that and I didn't didn't recover very well, then I'd be uh, I could be in big big trouble. Excellent.
right, that was hole number 11 of the Monster Marsh Tournament in the opening round of the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.